um, it follows a girl who intercepts this plan to kill all four of the kings that rule her like country and did I say kings? Hey friends! Hey friends! Hey friends! It's me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. For this video, I wanted to do another recommendation video. And for this one, it is gonna be Murder Mystery Rex that I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, I will say most of these are YA and if you don't like YA murder mysteries, then I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, these are just some of my favorites that I have enjoyed over the last couple of years or last maybe two three years and I'm just really excited to talk about them because I really like talking about books so the first book that I have is a series that I have loved for a couple years now and I probably talk about it a lot so you probably won't be surprised when I show you this but it is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes one of my favorite series it's the best if you enjoy Criminal Minds uh, and like FBI dramas and just like things about studying criminals and why they do the things that they do this is probably the series for you it's about a girl named cassie who gets recruited to join a special fbi uh program called the naturals program and it's for uh people who have the natural ability to study other people basically so cassie has this ability where she can look at someone and she can tell you all about them due to just their mannerisms the way they walk the way they hold themselves and stuff like that and so because of this ability she's recruited and there she meets a couple of other naturals there is a light a person who can really detect who can detect lies pretty well there's someone who's just really good at numbers there's another person who's really good at reading people like cassie and then there's another person who is really good at reading emotions and so from there they're supposed to be uh only working on cold cases and helping solve those but they get roped into a live active uh murder case as the story goes on and from there it's just shenanigans and i love it cassie is my favorite i love reading this from her perspective and just all the characters you end up growing to love and yeah i just i love it so much i think it's definitely a really good read i have everybody i have recommended this story to has loved it but yeah i just really enjoy the series and i really hope if you decide to read this that you will too the next one i have is one of us is lying by karen m mcmanus this is the first book that i read by her and i absolutely adored it the thing that really caught my interest was the the tagline for this was, it's The Breakfast Club, but with murder. I really love The Breakfast Club. It's one of my favorite movies. And so I was like, oh, I want to read that. That sounds interesting. Like, what is going to happen? So <laughs> the story of this is five kids go into detention and four come out. Now you have to figure out who did it. And it's intriguing because the way the story starts, you, I think it starts with them in detention, I'm not positive, but you do get to see everything that happens from the start of detention to the end of detention. It's cool because this has multiple point of views, so you get each person's point of view. So as you're reading their perspectives, you're trying to gauge whether they could have killed or not. And by the end, I was like, I don't want any of them to be the killer because I love them all. But like, at the same time, I don't know who it is. and. Yeah, I just loved it. It was very hard. So usually with books like this, sometimes I can guess right away. But I didn't really guess until, like, I was very close to the end. And, like, I didn't figure it out until then, which I think was something I loved even more. Because her writing is just so good. You're not really sure 
what twist is gonna happen next and I enjoyed the fact that you really got to know these characters especially because a lot of them had secrets that were coming out as you continued into the story so I definitely recommend this I reckon I honestly recommend any of her books because I've loved all of her books so far I haven't read her read her la latest one I have an arc of it but I just haven't read it but I want to because I know I'm gonna love it, especially because it's a spin-off of this, so it takes place from the perspective of Bronwyn's uh, younger sister and her group of friends, so I'm intrigued to see how that's gonna work out. I will say the next book I was gonna recommend was her other book, which was Two Can Keep a Secret. I just can't find my copy of that for some reason. I don't know where I put it. But this one is really interesting too. It takes place from the perspective of a girl who moves to a new town with her twin brother to live with a grandmother she's never met. And in previous years, uh, there have been two murders in that town. The first one was their aunt who went missing. And then the second one was the murder of a prom queen who they never found the killer of. Or at least they, I think they thought they found the killer, the suspected killer, but they could never prove he did it. It's dual POVs. It's the perspective of the girl who moves there and then this guy who's lived there. And I think it was his... Was it his brother that got accused? I'm I'm not absolutely positive, so don't quote me on that. It's one thing I can't remember. But he is getting roped in. Uh, he gets roped into uh, finding out the mystery as well because as soon as the girl moves back into town, the murders start happening again. And this was super intriguing because I didn't know what was going to happen. I will say I liked one of us is lying more, but I did enjoy the story of this and just seeing all the twists and turns and I will say with Two Can Keep a Secret the last line really gets to you and I think that's why I loved Karen and I loved Karen and McManus so much is because like with each book like her writing is just so intriguing especially because with the last line of Two Can Keep a Secret I like I read it and then I was like that's it like oh my god like what's gonna happen next and of course it's a standalone so not there's not gonna be another book but I'm like now I need there to be another book because of the fact of this one line and like it throws you off and I was just like what like okay this like I think I bumped it up a star too just because of that one line because I was like this is insane <laughs> so it makes me super excited to read her newest one because I think she just does such a good job with providing a good mystery and also like making you feel surprised throughout the book with all the twists and turns like nothing is predictable and i thought it was cool because you went from one of us is lying where you have four povs and one type of story and then she went to to can keep a secret where it was two povs and a totally different type of story so it's like intriguing and i'm excited to see what other books she comes out with and what happens in them all right the next book i have is four dead queens by astrid schultz i probably talked about it a lot on this channel and you've probably seen me talk about it but i will promote this because it's so good it's about a girl who intercepts this plan to kill all four of the queens that rule her country and so she's trying to race against time to stop this plan from following through and as you're getting her perspective you're also getting the queen's perspectives of what is happening before the murders take place and that's not a spoiler because it's literally four dead queens and so you're kind of just like seeing how this goes wondering what's gonna happen next i really enjoyed uh the fact that we got all the perspectives because i really enjoyed the queen's perspectives and the ending was very intriguing because it was not something I had seen before in a book like this. And so I thought the aspect that it went into was very intriguing and the way that the story like went and like you finding out who did it, it was it was different. And I think I liked that because I hadn't again I hadn't read it before. Uh, I wish that I will say I wish there was another book like a companion novel coming out in this world. I hope she does one because I feel like there's a lot more of this world that wasn't very really explored and it would be intriguing to see what happens. But I really enjoyed this. I loved it so much and I definitely want to promote, promote this and get you all to read it. Also, look at how pretty the uh, paperback edition is. Um, like I love the hardcover edition, but the paperback edition is just as pretty. So. Definitely recommend. Alright, so the last book I have is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. 
I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about this when I read it and then I did and I actually really enjoyed it so it takes place at this school where I think a couple not a couple years like a lot of years earlier there was a murder and a kidnapping that happened and nobody was ever caught because they couldn't figure out how it happened and so now like it's obviously years later this girl named Stevie decides to take part in this school so it's basically like a a very relaxed not college but college-esque type school where they accept kids who have a special interest and so they could be an actor or they could really love music and they tailor their education around that interest so it's kind of like a free school almost and seems stevie ends up getting accepted and so her hobby is figuring out what happened with this murder and it's intriguing because uh you really meet a lot of characters and you're kind of try figuring out like who these people are like how they're gonna play into the story and the way this ended was very interesting so i am excited to try and eventually get to the second book but i really did enjoy this i i think i enjoyed the the way she really was focused on figuring out what happened. I also liked because it switches time frames. So it go it goes from Stevie's time frame to the time of the murder, like the time frame that the murder and the kidnapping happened. And it kind of takes you into the sequences of what happened though that night and like before and everything like that. And like it takes you through like interviews of like witnesses and suspects and stuff like that. So I liked that you got to to see how they investigated the murder when it happened and how that plays a role into what Stevie is doing now to figure it out. So I'm definitely intrigued by that and I definitely want to read more. So that is my recommendation video, my second one. Hopefully it was good. Hopefully you liked it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. And let me know because I probably won't make any more if you did not like this. Uh, if you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, please comment them down below. If you have any other good murder mystery recs, definitely comment them down below because I would love to read more. They're kind of my favorite thing to read most of the time besides vampires and other things, but definitely highly recommend them. And yeah. If you're not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to keep seeing more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You're all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Bye!